Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with the first Western North Carolina fishing report of 2021 with Dale Collins of Tuck Fly Shop. How you doing, Dale? Doing good, Marvin. Hope you're doing good. Just trying to stay out of trouble. Was Santa Claus good to you? Yeah, man. I got uh, got a few fun things that are going to come in handy this year in the woods and then on the river. So, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely good here. The kids enjoyed it, and we had a little snow to play in. Yeah, absolutely. So I know you know we you know there was precipitation around Christmas, frozen depending on where you were, and it's gotten cold. And it looks like we're kind of on a little bit of a warming trend through this week, and then it's going to get cold again. What do you expect to see on the water? So we've had pretty consistent daytime highs, and that's really helped the blueing olive patch. Um, so anywhere in the national park, uh, low elevation streams, or um, even on even on the delayed harvest, whether it's the upper Nantahala, Tucka Fiji, or uh, West Fork of the Pigeon, uh, we're seeing those fish really reacting to those blueing olives. So, um, and then you know the usual nymphing stuff has been been the usual junk food stuff's been pretty productive as well. So, um, kind of a mixed bag of things. You know, this this weather it's it's been snowy, and then we'll warm up for a day, and then you know another round of snow comes through, um, and then everything's okay and. It just seems to not skip a beat. You know, the roads stay pretty warm. So, you know, we're able to keep getting around the, you know, bounce from place to place, uh, river to river, and, you know, doesn't get in our way at all. Yeah. And it looks too like kind of the flows have stabilized. So you don't have any high muddy water anywhere right now, right? Yeah. You know, I think, you know, it kind of got so cold there that a lot of stuff is, is especially since this last uh, winter storm came through Friday, a lot of water is actually locked up, frozen in the ground. Um, so if we hit a, a streak of warm weather, it's going to thaw and it might bring things back up. Um, but I think for, you know, this week and certainly part of next, it's, um, I think we've got chances for snow and rain quite a bit in there, but, um, but it's nothing, you know, like the rain came through today and it didn't even, you'd never know it looking at the water. So it wasn't, wasn't enough to, um, you know, change the water color or anything. And we had snow mixed in there. So it was a pretty day to fish. and um, I'm sure probably very productive. Yeah, very neat. And we've got a question from Andrew. Uh, Andrew, you're our first question of 2021. And Andrew wants to know, what are your favorite streamers to throw on the tuck in the winter? Man, I, I love streamer fishing uh, in the winter on the tuck. And um, just a real simple, uh, like yellow or yellow olive or a light olive zoo cougar. Um, that deer hair uh, tied zoo cougar, I think, you know, pushes the water really well and brings attention to the fish. Uh, for it and really get them uh, jumping on the hook. Uh, also like a Crelix minnow. Um, it's more of a smallmouth pattern, but I think, you know, a lot of times these overcast days, you put a little flash into it. Um, I think it just helps matter. So those are my two favorite. Um, and then sometimes just swinging woolly boogers a lot of times can be very, um, very effective on the streamer side of things. Yeah. And a question for you on the zoo cougar. Do you like to fish that on a sinking line or a sink tip? If I do fish it on a sinking line, it's going to be an intermediate, um, like maybe three inches per second. Um, you know, it's a Versa leader. Uh, the, the Rio Versa leaders are pretty handy as well. And I might do, I might do, you know, five, five inches per second on that just because it's on the front end of a, a floating line. So that it changes things a little different, but absolutely. You want to get it down a little bit just so it's not bouncing on the surface. Um, and so, but you don't want it to be like getting hung on rock. Yeah, absolutely, because it's a it's a hook down fly, so that would happen for sure if you put too much weight on it. That's right. And so, you know, folks, we love questions on the articulate fly. You can email them to us, or you can send them to us on our Instagram or Facebook page. If we use your question, I'll send you some articulate fly swag, and you'll get into a drawing for something cool at the end of the season. And Dale and I were talking, and we're at the end of the season. This is the first episode of season three. So next week, we're going to have the drawing. And Dale, you want to let folks know what we're going to be drawing for? Yeah, so we're going to draw uh, for a basically a logo uh, swag pack from Tuck Fly Shop. So logo hat and uh, shirt and maybe some other things. Appreciate all the questions. Yeah, absolutely. We love hearing from our listeners. And before I let you hop, and I don't know if you're drinking stouts or bourbons uh, on the other side of 2021, uh, or the other side of 2020, rather. Uh, (laughs) But although, given how things have been going, maybe we do want to get on the other side of 2021. (laughs) Bourbon neat kind of day, you know. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Why don't you let folks know your, uh, your winter shop hours and locations and all that kind of good stuff? 
Absolutely. So we're pretty much carrying normal hours in the Silva location at 530 West Main Street, downtown Silva. That's going to be 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday, closed on Sunday. And then Bryson City's running uh, 10 to 2, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then 9 to 5 uh, through Saturday from there. Uh, and then find us at tuckflyshop.com. We've got a blog, uh, also uh, online store. So, and we're, you know, as a matter of fact, we're starting to get some of our spring shipments in. So we're, we're getting that web store restocked uh, literally as we speak. So uh, that's an exciting time of the year when you see all the cards, all the boxes coming into the shop, getting ready for the next season. So uh, be sure to check us out online. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know, folks, it's going to warm up a little bit this week and you owe it to yourself to take advantage of it because, you know, we could maybe not see 60 degree days for a while after that. So get out there and catch a few, everybody. Tight lines. Tight lines, Dale. You too, Marvin. Marvin.